we're losing money. So it sounds like what you, based on what you're saying now and what you said earlier, you, know, you talked about putting food on the table. We had a wonderful meeting on how to do better canvassing to establish relationships with people at the door rather than just run up and smack some material in their face and run off again. Especially in this region. This is something that really brings out the passion in me. I grew up in Texas. I remember when the Texas Rangers used to brag that if someone came across our border, well, they did this. I had friends in law enforcement who told me they picked them up and took them out into the middle of the desert and dropped them out of a helicopter. No. So we've made a little progress, right? Now we're just ripping their kids out of their arms. Sandra Hall is the chairman of the Waynesboro Democratic Committee. Recently, the group was at the city's Democratic headquarters to learn more about techniques in canvassing neighborhoods. Well, I just, you know, before I let you go, because I know you've got things to do, like laundry. laundry. Yeah. <laughs> I want to just share with you a couple of things that, you know, are getting me to give up a Saturday and come talk to people in your neighborhood, you know. Do you do your own laundry? I do, I do my own laundry uh -huh. with my husband's help, so. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you know it's Saturday and that's usually a big laundry day. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think it's really important to me right now because I feel so passionately about so much that's happening in my country. Hall says using new strategies of canvassing has proven to be advantageous. The old way of doing it was divisive. They saw you coming. They put your stuff in the garbage when you left. It didn't help us really get to know each other as our neighbors. And she admits the political climate following the 2016 election has separated residents in their churches, civic groups, and sometimes even in their homes. There's plenty to divide us now, but as neighbors, we need to come back together. We need to value each other more than just racing up and trying to get you to be tag you're on my side like in the sixth grade, you know, or something. We need to be more to each other now. She says the Democratic Party has a powerful inclusion base to tear down the walls of division. It's just a lot of things that divide us, but not a lot that brings us together. So I want to see my party bring people together. Do you believe that Jennifer Lewis can beat the incarnate? Yes. Why do you say that? Well, I think she's a lot better qualified than he is, but I also think that with the enthusiasm that we have going for us on our side, that we have a chance to get out and really, you know, promote her candidacy. According to her, during the November election, the blue wave swept through the state house and delegate seats. In Virginia, being a woman was a pretty good qualifier in the last delegate race. You know, we knocked so many of those old, I'm sorry, old white men out. It gave me hope that we might actually get some qualified people in. Julie Emery is the executive director of the Virginia Civic Engagement Table. Emery says using a training method called deep canvassing has proven to be advantageous. It's about having deeper conversations with people at the doors and in your community to get them more engaged around our civic life. Now that we know that there's a lot of work to be done, we have a chance to put someone like Jennifer in office. It turns out that people are more willing to get involved with their government, uh, either locally or at a larger state or national level, when we actually show up and listen to what they have to say, when we connect with them face to face, and when we deeply listen to them in, in a way that gets to what they care about. Do you believe Tim Kaine can beat Corey Stewart? Are you kidding? If I thought that Corey Stewart had a chance, I would be laying in the floor crying. I believe that man is a absolute loss for the Republican Party, and they may just not know it yet. In Waynesboro, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.